Now, I don't know about the rest of the world, but here in the UK, it has been a terrible, terrible summer. So I guess it's time to face facts and accept we now have to think about the winter. Hello YouTube, welcome back to my channel Kings Down Roots. My name's Matt Rideout, R-I-D-O-U-T, and today we're gonna be unboxing three different puffer jackets at three different price points and gonna be deciding which is best. So the concept to this video is pretty straightforward. We have three different puffer jackets at three different price points. The first one being a relatively cheap one, the second a mid-tier, and then the third one is a break the bank situation, which is a once in a while purchase. So let's not waste any more time. Let's just get straight on with opening these puffer jackets starting with the first purchase which is the cheap puffer jacket which is from ASOS so this is the puffer jacket right here I will wear it and put it on one side of this screen so you can see what it looks like on person so the first thing that really caught my eye with this jacket is that it has these two vertical zips on the front um, alongside the main zip it's got this kind of string detail on the end of it with a bit of a rubber sort of end too, which I think looks really, really strong. On the hood, it's also got the kind of fake fur which runs around the side, which you know, in the winter time, I actually really do think is quite nice and comforting when it's absolutely freezing. So it also seems to have um, buttons which kind of reveal the main zip underneath. So it's got double protection or making sure there are no drafts coming in to the jacket, which is obviously quite useful. Another detail I've just spotted around the arms on the wrists is that it's got this kind of jumper finish which will keep it nice and tight on your wrists again to avoid any of that cold air running up your arms which is quite useful i guess i went for a large and i'm six foot and weigh about 80 kilograms at the moment so that's to give you some idea about the sizing and fit when it comes to this so this jacket was purchased as i said from asos it costs 75 pounds and it is made by river island so you can purchase this i will put the links in the description down below so if you fancy purchasing it by all means go ahead when it comes to the fit for this it does feel okay it doesn't feel amazing for 75 pounds i guess you can't really complain that much uh, the one thing i would say about that detail on the wrists of the arms is that it's a little bit too big and it's quite hard and rigid so it actually catches on your wrists a little bit so perhaps not the best finish in the world ever maybe a softer material on those arms would have been more appropriate all right second up we have the next puffer jacket which i will just pull from down here which as you can see is in this rather large box now this is actually a purchase from farfetch but it is a north face jacket so let me take it out of the box this is like the biggest box i've ever seen so we've taken it out of the box and something I quite like, which is obviously a step up from your ASOS purchases. From Farfetch, you've got this nice sort of protective bag keeping the jacket inside nice and safe and secure. So this is the jacket by North Face from Farfetch. Would you believe it? I don't actually own any North Face clothing or jackets in the past. This is my first ever purchase of a North Face product. Now the price of this jacket came to 200 pounds, so a little more than double the cost of the previous jacket. So I am expecting something a little more with this purchase now the official name of this jacket is the North Face Himalayan jacket I believe and immediately you can tell that this is higher quality straight off the bat it just feels softer the quality of the material is much better and it's actually a bit lighter too so the first real piece of detail that I noticed when I was purchasing this jacket was the fact that you have different types of material finishes on this jacket you have the kind of glossy finish which is along the kind of body part and around the neck and then you've got a matte finish which is around the shoulders and I think together works really well as well as that you've also got the very bold North Face logo on the front in white that is also featured on the back shoulder too which is the kind of iconic placement for this logo on the front of the jacket you've also got two pockets either side nothing special about the zips really there's a kind of small string pull attached to it but besides that that's kind of it so having put this on obviously uh, it does feel a lot lighter and you can notice that straight away it's also thinner from a padding perspective as well. So the materials that they're using to pad this jacket out obviously are higher quality because they're not quite as big. So overall then, is this jacket worth 125 pounds more than the previous jacket? Well, I think my answer to that is definitely yes. Straight out of the gate, you definitely feel like you've got a more premium, high quality jacket. It feels better, it's lighter. You feel like you're gonna get more wear out of it. It's gonna last longer and I think it actually looks better too. So yeah, this is definitely better than the first one. Okay, let's go on to the third and final puffer jacket today, which is also from Farfetch in a large box. So let me get that up. People could live in this box. So again, we have a protective bag, but it also looks like this comes with a hanger, which 
For the break the bank version of this video, you would expect that. So this is the third and final puffer jacket we're gonna be talking about today. And this is a logo patch Montclair puffer jacket bought from Farfetch. Now the retail cost of this puffer jacket came to 995 pounds here in the UK. Now I know the other two puffer jackets were black. That was an unintentional purchase. However, I wanted to go for something different with this break the bank version. And this is the kind of sandy brown color, which I think works really well with this pop of white on the arm and that's what really kind of drove me to this design besides that white on the arms you also have the Montclair logo which is also very recognizable it's in this kind of weird plasticky material which you almost feel like this could be a stamp if you were to put ink on it and put it on paper it would kind of actually print a stamp of the Montclair logo not that I would do that on a 995 pound jacket other details which really caught my attention with this design are the actual zips which are featured in white which again looks so nice and there's also some really nice subtle differences with this jacket which you just don't get on other jackets for example on this zip on the front you can see it's almost got a little zip holder which keeps it concealed until you actually use it now that is such a nice small piece of detail but you know you wouldn't really notice it from afar but up close it's those kinds of things which really make this i guess a bit different from other levels of clothing out of the three jackets this is by far the lightest of the three and i guess that's what you pay for you pay for a lightweight insulated jacket which is what this is with this jacket you also get a concealed hood on the collar at the back of this jacket too which is in this kind of strange plastic material now this is definitely not going to win any fashion awards for the kind of look and aesthetic but it's definitely going to keep you dry which is what you want inside the jacket you have this very recognizable Montclair finish to the insulation which is in this kind of light shiny plasticky finish material which I have no idea what it is but it does look very nice inside and I'm sure it'll keep you very comfortable now something which you usually see on a Montclair jacket is you usually have this on the outside which is why this is a bit of a different Montclair jacket in my opinion because you have the kind of more matte finish on the outside which is a bit unusual okay i'm wearing the moncler and it feels like i'm wearing a very nice expensive jacket it feels incredible to wear i guess the shiny insulation or the shiny finish on the inside of this jacket really does contribute to the comfort as well which is really nice you also notice straight away you've got these really nice shiny moncler buttons which will give you a bit of flexibility to adjust the comfort of the wrist which is quite nice i like that and yeah this feels very nice indeed and uh, yeah, overall very, very impressed with this jacket. I think what's quite nice about this puffer jacket and actually probably all of them is that when you buy puffer jackets, you can wear just a t-shirt underneath and use this as really kind of a jumper or an accessory for your look. So to summarize this video then, which would I choose out of those three jackets? Well, when it comes to looks, I'm gonna have to go for the Montclair. I think it is the best looking out of the three today. However, when it comes to value for money, I would have to pick the North Face jacket because for 200 pounds, that is a great puffer jacket. And I think you really do get something quite nice for something which is only a fraction of the cost of the Montclair. And on that note, that's it for me today. I've been Matt Rideout. This has been Kings Down Roots. If you've enjoyed my video, please drop me a comment and a like down below. It really does mean the world to me. You can also follow me on Instagram up here. Here I post a lot of content on there too. Thanks very much for watching. Take care. Bye-bye.